Dark Lord of the Lycans. Time to fight one. Gabriel has fought long and hard to get to this point, and now he faces his stiffest challenge. The Dark Lord of the Lycans must be defeated if Gabriel stands any chance of bringing his beloved back. I fear he will suffer more than he knows once he discovers the truth, and yet his hatred and burning desire for revenge cannot be underestimated. He has the gauntlet, and he has Gandolfi's weapon. He is a force that even the Dark Lord will struggle to deal with. Good. Soon he will overcome this evil. Soon the world will be free of the Lords of Shadow, and plans long dreamt of will come to fruition. Go, my friend, go and break this creature once and for all. Wahahaha. <laughs> also, Stiffest Challenge, eh? Oh, gonna heal myself up. Hey, give me Max. If I can. Dun, 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 Both rising at the same time. Cause that's how I roll. Do, 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 do. And healing, and more, and into the battle. He's just waiting for me here. So that ring looks a lot like the wolf medallion ring from the well, second game. I'd say first game. And that would have been incorrect. I have come to fulfill the prophecy. My acolytes were not lying. A warrior from the Brotherhood, here on Lycan soil. I wonder, warrior, if you know where you are and who I am. I am on desecrated land, and you and those of your clan do not deserve to live. <laughs> you say you are here to fulfill a prophecy. You and the other Lords of Shadow are protecting a power in your sanctuaries. I have come to reclaim that power. You? Alone? You dare enter my inner sanctum and dictate your petty mortal terms to me? I am immortal, little man! And your pathetic prophecy is known to me. But you are ignorant. Ignorant of the real truth of your situation. It is you who are ignorant. Ignorant of the pain and suffering you have brought to this land. You might not be. You might be fully aware of it. Quite happy with it. Hear me. Many centuries ago, three great warriors founded the Brotherhood of Light, the order to which you belong. Their sole purpose was to serve God and defeat the devil. For decades, the founders fought fiercely against the spawns of Satan, and finally tipped the equilibrium in God's favor. Such was their commitment to the Crusade that their studies in Holy Enlightenment led them to three sacred places where the power of God converged with such intensity that it forged a bridge between the spiritual and the real. The Founders used that power to purify themselves, abandoning their human forms and transforming them into spiritual beings whose power was second only to gods. You tell me nothing that I did not already know, beast. Little did they realize that what they left behind were not their carcasses devoid of souls, but instead the dark sides of themselves. Don't you see? That is how we came to be. We, who you call the Lords of Shadow. No. You lie. This place is where one of your founders ascended into heaven, and where I was born. This is the place where, according to your prophecy, a warrior of light will reclaim the power of my beloved brother in heaven, and I too will diminish. If that were to occur, he would die with me. Because we are still the same being. He and I, still connected. Kill me, 
and you kill him. Kill us all, and you will kill the sentry founders of your own order. Well, if you're causing this <laughs> much trouble... Brother. Even you have to smile at the irony of it all. Perhaps he is willing to sacrifice himself for you. For the greater good. I, however, am not. I am Cornell, Lord of the Lycans. Is this the best the Brotherhood can offer? Don't taunt me, boy. Your skills are no match for mine! Possibly not. I'm gonna give it my best chance. Ah. Chance against me. Oops. Let me get some health back. Call yourself a warrior? A weekend warrior, even. Better than a weakened warrior. Sorry. Your skills are no match for mine. Ow. Call yourself a warrior! You don't stand a chance against me! Help! Is this the best the Brotherhood can offer? Oh, shit. Your skills are no match for mine! Ah. Call yourself a warrior? Thank you. I lost way too much health then, though. Hmm. Transformation time, I'm guessing. I wish they could have animated that. Would have been cool. Okay. Oh shit. No, stop. The Dark Lord of the Lycanthropes is the personification of hate and violence. In his werewolf form, he has superhuman strength and speed, far greater than even his mighty lieutenants. In addition to his natural abilities, he can also use the power of the cyclone boots, magical relics worn by his human counterpart. With them, he is able to jump great distances and perform powerful charge movements that can tear down most obstacles. Okay, so he's defended against fairies, he's weak against daggers, and... He doesn't like crystals too much either. Oh shit, I have no daggers. Why do I have no daggers? I'll enjoy dismembering you better bones. Yep. My sons will feast on your corpse once I finish with you. Better. Oh, 
won't survive to see the end of this game! Feast on your corpse once I finish with you. <laughs> Miss me. I'll enjoy dismembering you, better ones. I'll tear you apart like the insect you are. Even forgetting that that's an unblockable. To see the end of this day. Oh, shit. Okay, let's try this again. Get some health back first. Enjoy. Okay. My sons will feast on your corpse once I finish no. with you. What if I don't want you to? What if I don't want you to feast on my corpse, eh? I'll tear you apart like the insect you are. Survive to see the end of this game. Shit. No. I really hate. Okay. Beat this guy up. Oh shit. Sons will feast on your corpse once I finish with you. Ah, oh, get down off that bitch. I'll tear you apart from the insect you are. Oh, don't repeat that attack. Nothing worse than a guy who repeats his same attack again. I enjoy dismembering you, better marks. I'm sure you do. The sons will feast on your corpse once I finish with you. To see the end of this day. <laughs> okay. I enjoy dismembering you, better ones. <laughs> you won't survive to see the end of this day. <laughs> Thank you. 
I'll tear you apart like the insect you are. Uh, I can't remember what I'm meant to do. My sons will feast on your corpse once I finish with you. Okay, I destroy those. Gabriel, run. I'll enjoy dismembering you, better Mart. Keep running, Shark. You won't survive to see the end of this day. Shark. Souls will feast on your corpse once I finish with you. Oh my god. Okay, cutscenes now. And quick time events. Uh. Damn you. Uh. That was way too easy to pull out. Oh, don't want to miss mess up your sort of picking it up now. Maybe just shut up and watch the quick time events. Watch four quick time events. What? No silver bullet to the heart. Really sucks that I had no daggers throughout this entire fight. Gabriel get some footwear. Dun da da da! Power of double jump! Dun da da da! Well, thanks for watching that fight. It did not go smoothly at all, but hey. Another set down. Done. Glowy wife with the weird face. Make haste, my love. Reclaim the power before it is lost. And it turns out she's the main villain all along. Your wife killed herself to do this prophecy. ha <laughs> ha. Oblivion, Sempiternum, Daemonis. If it was that easy, why didn't you do it when you first met the Lycan Lord? Surely he couldn't have stopped you. Cyclone boots. A gift to Cornell. These powerful boots were forged long ago. They allowed him to travel vast distances at a tremendous speed. However, after he became the Dark Lord of the Lycans, he improved upon their design using shadow magic to turn them into a powerful weapon, enabling him to charge down his enemies with incredible speed. Damn, that's low health. I was very lucky to get through that. Anything else around here? Any hidden things that I could use? Guessing not. Huh. 
Who needs a werewolf when you've got cycling boots? Get up, Gabriel. Uh, okay. Really? The other side wasn't good enough. You have gained great power, but it is not enough. Either is your you must glowing unite beak. the two that remain. Come with me. Our time is running out. Now he's not walking there anymore. He's flying there. Basic action. What have we got here? I'm going to keep on saving up for my Holy Cross. Okay, well, I'll end the set here, and uh, next time we come back and we shall be entering the land of the vampires and Camilla. Uh, a bit of a difference in enemy type as well. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.